Hey there folks, Aldershot here, and today we're gonna play a little bit of Utopia 9. It's an action RPG, or an ARPG, uh, that's developed by Whalegun and is available on Steam currently at the price around $10 USD. Uh, never played this before, as we often do <laughs> in these little random less plays, but we're gonna check it out together. And at the end of the video, we'll talk a little bit about our short experience together, as we usually do. Um, but this is an early access, so we'll see how this goes anyways. Let's just uh, quickly check the options. Uh, okay, pretty basic. <laughs> Good enough. Let's, let's just start the game and see what it's all about. Never played this before, like I mentioned. Uh, hopefully it'll be good. As opposed to being bad. Alright, so we crash line it from the looks of it. And we're a little dude. Uh, okay, we got some twin shooting mechanics going on from the looks of it. Uh, and we got our little suitcase, of course. We are on a space vacation, apparently. But, uh, anyways, let's, uh, oh! These signs are our tutorial. Let's see what they're all about. Uh, T is to switch primary weapons. Okay, cool. Interesting. Uh, let's see. Tab is to switch equipped it set. Nothing or that. Okay. I think we'll go with that. Uh, primary equipment or holster is Q. Uh, e is for secondary equipment or holster. Okay. Easy enough. Primary, secondary. Alright, alright, alright. This all seems pretty basic as far as controls are concerned. Let's just, uh, let's just move forward and see what else this game has in store for us. Spaces to jump. Oh, it costs us bullets, okay. They look like bad guys. Oh god. I'm pretty sure they're bad guys. They have their own suitcases. Bang, bang, bang. Take a little of this. Take a little of that. Haha. Did that guy hit us? I'm not really sure. No, no, we're collecting the little gems. That's what's going on. Alright, easy enough. Let's move forward. Looks like not everyone on this planet is uh, friendly. These guys are probably bad. Huh. We'll whack it with our suitcase. It's actually pretty powerful. There's no dash button, so we can't really dodge out of the way. We're gonna have to just try and move strategically if possible. Some ammo, that's good. We're starting to run low. So we gotta be careful about <clears throat> what we shoot and how we shoot because uh, it looks like there's limited ammo in this game. M to mutate. Alright, so we can get uh, gasoline glands, your explosive weapons leave a burning area, bouncy bullets, projectiles of your bullet weapons bounce on walls and obstacles, or we can get extra jointed and uh, we move faster. Hmm. Choices, choices, choices. Let's do the move faster thing for the time being. Alright, let's go. And indeed, we are moving faster. Good, this should help us out. At least in the exploration uh, department. Okay. What else have we got? Ooh, a wrench. Nice. Sweet. Uh, tab is to switch. So this looks like a two-hand weapon. Or can we put that in our second hand? I'm not really sure. Uh, okay, well, we'll keep it as a uh, secondary weapon. Gonna blow up all the things. I'm curious to know what else they're going to add, seeing how this game is in early access. Uh, game feels pretty good so far, as far as what it is, anyways. To the next district, alright. Uh, let's see, click to travel, click to travel, shell weapons. Bullet weapons. Uh, hmm, shotgun or bullets. Let's go with the bullets, I think. Alright. What else do you have in store for us, Mr. Game? Well, this and all that, haha. -ha. <laughs> oh no, that guy looks like a biggie. A big baddie, you know? Something that will probably do a lot of damage to us if we're not careful. 
Oh, nice. The red can stun from the looks of it. I like the wrench. I don't like the hit though. I like the stun ability for the wrench. That's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Oh god, I should probably aim. That would probably help things. Well, this is definitely helping me keep them at bay, which is great. Looks like they're pretty weak when they're up close. So, we will get in their base, me thinks. I'm liking this melee thing going on here. I like the graphics of this game so far, too. It's very bright, very colorful. And, uh, yeah, the models and the environments don't look half bad, either. Let's switch back. This guy's running away. Switch. Oh, -ho. some more ammo, which is great. The wrench is also going to be real good for us when we, or if we, run out of ammo, which I'm sure will happen eventually. Good stuff here. Let's see. There was a door behind us. We should probably go and check that real quick. Guns and groceries. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good combination, you know? Pick up some carrots. Pick up some bullets. All in one convenient place. This looks like a wrench area. It's a good place to whip out a wrench. And smash some people right in their stupid face. Like this guy. I'm just here for the carrots. Please don't hurt us. Thank you. Like some of that. And let's see. This guy. This guy sure is a guy. Weapon crate. Ooh. What do you want to get? Oh! Oh, that's a fancy new weapon. Let's see. Let's pick that up. Uh, this is a two-handed weapon. I like it. We'll keep it. We should probably use our wrench to break open the crates as to save some ammo. Alright, so far so good. So far so good. I like all the blood splatter, which is uh, actually looks more like ink, but... Uh, it's all good. I, I guess the game's trying to be a little bit more kid-friendly, which is fine. Explosions. This, game's, or this weapon's definitely not as accurate as our pistol, but you can tell it's more powerful. Power is good. Oh, we can uh, right click and it'll single shot instead of burst shot. And that's a lot more accurate. I like it. I like it. Where's our health? To? Oh, I see. It's on the bottom left. So it looks like we actually need some. We actually need some health pickups. Oh, how do you like that? How do you like them apples, buddy? But they didn't like them apples at all. Not the ambrosias that you were looking for, was it? Alright, we're pretty low on ammo. Um, pretty low on health, too, to be honest. Now we're really low on health. Environments and time to eat. Come back here, buddy. Short on the range. For this weapon. Really could use some health. We're at 14 right now. So, not a good thing necessarily. And, oh, we got a level up. Nice. Uh, let's see, what's this? Liquor. Liberator. Killing enemies have a 10% chance to drop uh, liquor bottles that will heal for 4 points, which is pretty good. Eagle Eye. Enemies drop ammo crates containing 20% more ammo. That's pretty good too. Locust Eggs. Allow you to make a quick sideways jump every 1.5 seconds. Oh, interesting. Let's go the whole agility, agility route, hey? So now we have um, Quick Dodge, which is Pretty, pretty good. I think that's gonna be pretty useful. I like our. I really like 
the wrench that we got here, actually. So this agility here is going complement that pretty well. Oh god, we're dead! We're dead! <laughs> Visited one area. Are we dead for good? Is this like permadeath? Oh, we just have to restart, I see. So it's not necessarily permadeath. Wait, how far back do we have to restart? Pretty far back from the looks of it. Why? I'm not sure if I like that. So maybe it is permadeath? How does this work? I'm not really sure. Hmm, interesting. Um... Options? Delete all data, I don't want to do that. Alright, well anyways, let's just quickly burn through this area again. I think, does this game have a permadeath system? Is that what's going on? Sent us back to the car. Oh god. Oh god. I missed my dodge ability already. Alright, we're gonna have to be a lot more careful, apparently. Hmm. Ouch. Got some ammo. This game's a little skimpy on the health drops, too. It doesn't look like it's gonna be an easy game. I don't know, I'm assuming a lot of stuff, because again, this is my first time playing, so I'm kind of learning this game uh, along with you guys, right? Oh, it's a different weapon this time. Let's grab that. Interesting. So maybe this game does have some kind of almost rogue-like elements, maybe? I mean, the levels look like they're laid out the same, but the, the item pickup was definitely different. Um, the permadeath is what's confusing me. I think it's permadeath. Let's go this way this time. Let's go to shell weapons. Alright. At least we're going to be in a somewhat new area with a somewhat new weapon. Oh, oh god, that's a big dude. That's a pretty big dude, man. And he has a shield. God, oh, that hurt like a son of a bitch. All these people have shields, which is kind of annoying. Can't taser them, no line of sight. Oh, God. This game just got real. <laughs> if this game actually does have a permadeath system, then... Oh, gonna be kind of challenging. Damn shield. That's annoying. I got 11 health. Not great. So I can tase them and shoot them. Tasing them stuns them. Is useful. So it's a little bit easier to shoot, obviously. Looks like this gentleman also has a taser himself. So let's grab that and get <clears throat> some new ammo for it. All right. Well, that was uh, that was an interesting battle. New mutate. New mutation. Yeah. Um, let's get this one. I like the, uh, the extra dodge and we could use it. There we go. We got 21 health, so you gotta be real careful. When we get shot, we're kinda done. We'll get rid of those before maybe an enemy tends to use it against us. Warning, low health. Yeah, I know. I know. I want some more health. Give me some health, game. No, nope, none down that way. I missed my wrench. I like the wrench that we had earlier. That was really nice. Especially with the uh, extra speed and extra dodge. I think that turns out. There's a lot of baddies. A lot of baddies. I want, I want all that stuff. Alright. Came out of that unscathed. Thank God. 
want to make sure that guy doesn't hit us. A mixed crate, hey? Eh? Ooh, health. Beautiful. Very nice. Very nice. That's what we want here. Uh, can we switch weapons? I don't think... The suitcase. There we go. I don't think that spilled blood green goop thing, whatever it is, I don't think that actually hurt us, so... Should be okay. Stay behind cover for that. Alright. Use this guy. Get him out of the way just real quick. Dodge that bullets. Come back here. Just want to tase you, bro. Uh, can we go in here? I don't think we can. Nope. Uh, I sure missed that extra run speed. Should be sure would be useful right about now. Let's see what's in here. Oh god. It's like a boss of some sort, maybe? Some kind of mini boss or release, maybe. Either way, he's dead. That matters, I guess. Uh, oof, really low on ammo. Still got a taser, but... Ammo. Okay, good, good, good. Oh god, we got no ammo. Now we got some ammo. 46 health, so we gotta be a little bit careful here. Let's break this stuff open. Mmm, loot. I like it. Ah, new weapon crate. What's in here? Oh, fancy. Fancy, fancy. Let's grab that. What is this? Oh, it's a shotgun. I like it. I like it. We don't have a melee weapon now, though, but whatever. We'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. We only have nine shots in our uh, laser pistol, whatever, so we gotta be careful. Switch to our shoddy. Grab some of this ammo here. I wonder what the alt fire is. Let's find a dude for him. No alt fire. I think they shoot the same. Alright, so far so good. So far so good. I'm liking the game so far. I, I really do. I really want to understand the death system in this game though. Is, is it because I just didn't reach a far enough checkpoint? Does this game actually feature a permadeath system? What's going on? Because when we died, as you saw, I sent us back to the beginning of the game. But we weren't that far, so it's possible that maybe we just didn't reach a far enough checkpoint. So that's that could be a thing. M to mutate, nice. Another level up. Uh, ammo absorb. Let's see, ammo absorption. Ammo crates heal you for two hit points. If you have full ammo, they heal you for four hit points. Yeah, let's grab that. We could use the extra health, actually. Knowing that this game is actually kind of difficult. It can, can be kind of challenging. It's a little bit skimpy on the health pickups, which is not a necessarily a bad thing. The game's probably going for a slightly more challenging gameplay style, which is fine with me, of course. Oh, damn it. I thought it was close enough. I thought wrong. Come back here, buddy. Oh god, look at them all. This little shotgun will be very useful. I never got hit yet. It's not a bad thing. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And we got a little bit of health from that as well. Thanks to our mutation. Which is pretty neat of if you ask me. None of that now. Switch back to our shotgun. We got seven shots left in our pistol, so I'm gonna wanna be a little bit careful here. How do you like them apples, hmm? A little bit of a uh, Gallas, maybe some Spartans, some Ambrosias. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about, guys. I'm just naming off different kinds of apples right now. Did we get another level up? I hope so. Anyways, let's grab these crates. Oh, 
I see. Um, yeah, let's get some grenades instead of the taser. Hey, okay? I think that's a good idea. We're not wearing anything though, fancy shorts. Uh, I haven't found any equipable equipments yet. Oh, oh, there we go. Much better. Explosions, Michael Bay. Oh, this guy here. Hmm. Fancy environmental dangers. Oh, now he's running away. Let's see what's up here. This might be the end of the map, perhaps. Yep, it is. Do we want explosive weapons or energy weapons? Well, I think it's quite obvious. We want explosive weapons. Explosions, Michael Bay, like I said earlier. Transformers, Ninja Turtles, etc. Hope our ammo holds off. the explosions there. Running pretty low on ammo on both weapons, which is worrying me. I forgot we had the sidestep. I should probably utilize that a little bit more. None of that, sir. Let's go in here and hopefully we'll find some ammunition. guy was a bad shot. Switch to our thing. Oh, that's a pretty fancy grenade. Oh, it doesn't actually hurt him, it just holds him in place. Still pretty fancy, I like it. Um, oh, a riot shield. Hmm. Hmm, that's pretty interesting. Riot shield or the grenade. Can't pick up. Yeah, we have to drop the shotgun for that. I don't know. I don't know, guys. The grenades are pretty fancy, but we only have four of them. The riot shield is unlimited use. All right, let's um. I guess we'll we'll take the riot shield. I suppose. We only have 13 shots in our pistol though, which worries me. But at least we got. I think we got melee now with the shield. Yeah, we do. So that's good. Already. Oh, I can reflect his bullets. Oh god, I, I lost my shield. It's not permanent. Should have known. Oh god, I'm out of ammo. I'm done. We're at low health as well with 19. Um, I'm gonna go back here and take our grenades that disappeared. Oh no, it didn't. It's right here. Okay, good. Alright, let's uh, continue our journey. Oh, that's a mine! And it killed us. I thought it was a pickup, but it's not. Our fancy shorts did not save us. Let's see, our vacation ended at 12.20. Visited two areas. So yeah, I think this game is a permadeath system. Because there's only menu, restart, or stats. Let's go to menu this time. Let's see if we can load. Nope, we can't load from the looks of it. We can start. So yeah, this game features a permadeath system from the looks of it. Um, okay, pretty, pretty interesting game. Utopia 9. Uh, I like it. Yeah, I, I think it's pretty, pretty, well, there's definitely a bit of a challenge to it. Um, it seems to feature a permadeath system, but I wouldn't really call it roguelike because, well, the levels stay consistent, right? There's no RNG element to it. Pickups that you get per level, that is random. But if the levels aren't random, then you can't really call it a roguelike, as that's one of the most um, distinctive features of a roguelike, right? Is it calling a third person shooter a, a first person shooter? You know, it might be similar, it's not the same, right? Um, but it definitely has a permadeath system, it definitely has a degree of challenge. Uh, 
And I like the graphics. It's kind of whimsical. It's very colorful. It's vibrant and very distinct to the game itself. You know, it's uh, pretty fairly professionally done. It doesn't look amateurish at all. I am very curious to know what else they're going to add to the game, seeing how this is in early access. But I think District 9... I think it's District 9. No, Utopia 9 uh, has a lot of potential. I think it has a bright future with the right uh, PR, with the right, you know, uh, community involvements maybe. And of course with an expansion of the game as the game progresses in its development. But, uh, yeah, so far so good. I liked the first few minutes that we played together. I definitely enjoyed the challenge level. I enjoyed the aesthetics. I enjoyed the gameplay. There's this twin stick shooter slash ARPG thing going for it. But, uh, yeah, Utopia 9. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, anyways, folks, hopefully you folks enjoyed. If you did, show me some love, like your face, and comments. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and, uh, help this little channel grow and do something maybe a little bit bigger. That would be kind of cool. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. All the shoutouts.